Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun and exciting one. I haven't really seen any videos of this type out here on YouTube, so I just decided I wanted to do one. And it is going to be a video of all of the products that I loved that I got in subscription boxes for the month of May. So, I got Pop Sugar. It wasn't a lot, but I got Pop Sugar. Ipsy, Sephora, and Allure, and I'm going to show you guys all of the products that I loved um, from the subscription box. So the two Pop Sugar boxes that I'm going to tell you guys that I got were the Girls Night Out Limited Edition, and this was kind of just like a resale by Glitz, like Glitz was selling old Pop Sugar boxes, but I'm still going to include it because I did get it in the month of May. So. Let's get started. There were three products in the Ipsy bag that I really liked and that I used quite religiously for the month of May. The first one is the Luxie Precision Foundation 660 brush. I got this, of course, in Ipsy, um, and I really love this brush. I use it every day, but I only use it for a highlight. I know it says to use it for foundation, but I like to use it as a highlighter applicator. And, talking about highlight, I also really liked the Urban Decay um, highlighter that we got in the shade Sin. Um, so, both of these I used a lot this month. So I'll take the brush, put it on just mostly like the tip, and then just put it right where I need that highlight. And as you guys can see, it's definitely given me a lot of highlight. And the brush is very soft and it's very nice. And I'm actually, this was my first Lexi brush and I really loved it. I loved how soft it is. I loved how it applied the highlighters and it's just such an amazing brush and after I've washed it because I have washed this a couple times it's still very soft and it still applies my makeup on very smoothly so I really loved this brush from Ipsy and going back to the highlighter I did really love this highlighter too um, it definitely um, gave me a lot of highlight um, but I really use this a lot more for an inner corner highlight, which I don't have right now. So I can show you guys how amazing it is. So I would just use, this is by Tarte, but I don't know what, what brush this is. But I would just put it in the highlight and just put it in the, as an inner corner highlight. And as you can see, it definitely brightened up my eyes a lot and gave me a really nice highlight. So I really really liked this and this was in Sin. And then the next thing that I liked in my Ipsy bag for the month of May was this K-Boss Macaroon Lip Balm. I use this religiously you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell but I've definitely dented it and I like it because it smells so good. So what I'll do is I'll exfoliate my lips and then I'll just put this right on top and both of the combinations of exfoliating and this have left my lips feeling so soft. So, so overall, I was really happy with my Ipsy bag this month. I think there was like two products that I haven't used yet, but that's okay. It's no big deal. There were three items in this box that I absolutely loved and that I use all the time. The first thing is this Belief Hungarian Water Essence. It's an aqua-based moisturizer. It definitely moisturizes my face a lot. I've used this a couple times already and I really like how it leaves my face after I apply this before my foundation. So this was definitely one of my favorite products in there. The next thing was also another highlighter. <laughs> Um, I am obsessed with highlighters. Whenever I get highlighters, it just makes me really happy. This was a Tristique highlighter in Maldives Luminescence. And I just really liked that it was a baller. Like, it was like a, a ball. It was like a really pinky champagne color. And I really like this a lot, so. And the last thing in my Sephora play box that I really liked was this Nude Sticks. 
crayon in Greystone, it definitely brought me back to my grunge days. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it was a very grungy lip color and I really like this a lot. So overall, I was pretty impressed with my Sephora play box. Um, I did also get the Rahua treatment for the hair and I really liked that, but me being dumb, threw away the bottle. So let's just add that there too. The Allure box, I liked four products that I got in this box. So basically the whole box I liked. Um, the first thing is this, this works stress check breathe in. It's like a roller ball and you just rub it on your point here and rub them both together. Breathe in and it's supposed to help you relax and kind of get rid of all of that stress that you've been dealing with all day. So I really like to take do this at the end of the night um, just after, after I've been working or like during a bath time. I'll just put it on and take a nice big woof of it and then it'll help me just calm down and just relieve all my stress. So I really liked this. I also got another lavender based oil and it's a body oil and it's also for relaxing. Or what I did uh, a lot this month too is just rub it on my chest before bedtime and it, it'll just Again, relax me, give me that nice little lavender scent, and to be honest, both of these combinations together just makes me knock right out, not gonna lie. I sometimes suffer with insomnia, so ever since I started using these products, I feel like once my head touches the pillow, I'm out. And I'm not even over-exaggerating, that's how nice this product is. And I've also started using this on my sunburn, and I feel like it's definitely soothed it out. It's kind of helped me not peel. So I really like this and it also kind of helped the itching and the burningness. So I really love this product and I'm definitely going to buy the full size once, I, once I'm out of that. And then the other thing is this Drunk Elephant sunscreen. Um, I should have probably used this when I went out to the pool, but me being a dummy, completely forgot. But ever since then, I have been using this all the time. Every morning before work, I'll put this on my face. I don't want to get any wrinkles. I'm still too young to be getting wrinkles. I mean, I'm 24. I'm probably going to start getting wrinkles here soon, but um, I would like to prevent it as much as I can. And so I'll use this all the time and it doesn't have a scent, which I like because a lot of sunscreens have that sunscreen scent, but this one doesn't. So I really like this as well. And then the last thing that I have been loving and that I loved in my Allure box was this Luxie brush. Again, another Luxie brush. Um, and this was the tapered blending brush and I absolutely love it. It's it was so nice, and when I got the when I got the the Luxie Precision brush, I was like head over heels when I got this one. I was like, oh my god, yes, 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 another Luxie brush. I was so ecstatic, you guys, so happy. So I really love this brush. It's the bee's knees, y'all. The bee's knees. And um, having these brushes have, has actually convinced me to purchase some of my own so I did a little shopping and I bought some and they should be expected here sometime next week so I'm so excited okay um, I'm going to do first the May box and then I'm gonna do the girls night out box so for the May box I really loved the candle so nice it's so, it smells so good it's Cucumber and sea salt, and as you guys can tell, I've definitely used it a lot this month. Um, it just smells so nice. It smells like when I have it lit, I feel like I'm sitting like beachside, just taking in that smell of the ocean, and I just really love this scent. 
It's so nice, it's so clean. Definitely one of my favorite candles. And I also liked the jewelry that we got this month. And it is a cuff and it says, be good, do good, feel good. Um, I don't wear it all the time, but when I do wear it, I feel like I get a lot of compliments from people saying that it's really pretty. So I really like this handcuff and it has a really good motto. And the last thing for the month of May was this Lipstick Queen lipstick um, in sunshine or morning sunshine, sorry. Um, what I like about Lipstick Queen is that they it looks like it should be yellow, but I promise you it is not. It is like this really pink, beautiful color, so pretty. I absolutely love this lipstick. Now, moving on to the Girls' Night Out box. Um, I have four products that I loved from that box. The first thing is this Lilicious Brown Sugar Vanilla um, Shower Oil and Bubble Bath. It smells so good, you guys. It smells like, literally like brown sugar and vanilla. It smells so good. So when I put it in the bath, I literally, it literally feels like I'm baking something because it smells so good. I really love this. So when I'm actually done with this, I'm going to take my little honey and go purchase some more. I actually found some on Amazon, so I'm really excited. Um, the next thing was this Smith & Colt um, nail polish in 1972, I think that's what it's called. It's a really pretty metallic pink shade and I really loved it a lot. I even got a compliment from it from my coworker. She said that she liked the color and so of course it's my favorite. And then the next thing is this bracelet. It's the Kendra Scott bracelet which I don't really like to use because I feel like it's so sensitive and so like you know I don't want to break it because it's so beautiful so I just use it on special occasions but I really love it it's so pretty I love the little white pearly thing in the center so pretty and the last thing is this this Winky Luxe lipstick in Bunny? Is that what it is? Yep, it's in Bunny. Cool. And I actually have this on my lips right now. Because I love it, you guys. I love it. It's so pretty. I love the color. It's like a really nice pink and like kind of like reddish. And I, it's not like super like yo in your face type of thing. So I'm really happy with that. And that is actually all of the products that I loved from all of my subscription boxes and I think I'm going to start doing this. Um, so I'm going to, I already have some things in mind for my um, June boxes. So, well at least from one of the boxes that I got. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys about once I get all of the other ones, but these products were definitely my favorite. Um, for the month. A lot of the other products that I didn't like, I always give to my mom or I just tuck them away for like a giveaway or something. So yeah, but that is all. Um, let me know what you guys got in your subscription boxes and what was your favorite for the month of May. And please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And yeah, I'm very active on those too. So I hope you guys like this video and we will see you in my next video. Bye!